My name is Yadeta Kabeta. I'm a research scientist uh, with the Field Crop Development Center. I specifically work on a project nitrogen use efficiency. We're trying to develop a vara cultivar which takes up more nitrogen from the soil as well as produce higher yield per unit of nitrogen taken up. The uh, current project is uh, being funded by Alberta Innovates Biosolutions, Alberta Crop Industry Development and Alberta Barley Commission from the industry. So really very uh, thankful for their support. And uh, the previous uh, projects uh, were supported by uh, Alberta uh, Industry Crop Development Fund. So we wouldn't have been here really without their support. I'm very thankful for that. So really, uh, nitrogen is basically the highest input cost on producers. So if we improve nitrogen use efficiency, it means producers will uh, need to apply less amount of nitrogen to their barley crop. So that will affect, uh, that will uh, really uh, improve their profitability by, by reducing input cost. And uh, uh, for sure, uh, for barley, this is very, very important. When I say you're going to go uh, develop, uh, have a variety of, for commercial production, I don't mean that's just only a, a, a material that's ef not only efficient in nitrogen use efficiency, but also it's got will have higher yield or competitive yield. It will have the disease resistance package, and it also will have the all the quality uh, requirement in uh, especially in the feed market. Yeah, I think with this uh, research we have a sort of uh, long-term goal and uh, medium or uh, short-term goals. Really with the materials uh, I'm evaluating now, I'm seeing uh, around 10% higher efficiency as compared to the standard cultivars the producers are using today. So really maybe the next variety will show 10% uh, higher efficiency, but really uh, we're uh, keeping on uh, producing more and more materials. There are more materials coming up through the breeding process, and uh, we hope that those will deliver uh, higher efficiency than that in the long run. Uh, in a sense, especially when we started, probably we were the uh, sort of pioneers, the first ones to start. Uh, uh, even today, probably we are uh, the only programs having a kind of uh, full-scale uh, breeding work for nitrogen use efficiency in Canada. But there are uh, other breeding programs catching up. Uh, if, I, if I mention uh, public uh, in the U.S., uh, University of Minnesota, uh, University of uh, Oregon, they're doing. And I know uh, other private companies are also really working on uh, nitrogen use efficiency, but on different crops like corn and stuff. But yeah, uh, everybody's catching up worldwide, but we're kind of unique, and for sure, we are the first ones really to start uh, basically in North America. Yeah.